The social work theory which we are going to discuss today is the ecological systems theory also known as human ecology theory the ecological systems theory it states that human development is influenced by different types of environmental systems it was formulated by famous psychologist yuri bronfenbrenner this theory helps us to understand that why we behave differently when we compare our behavior in the presence of our family and our behavior when we are in school or at work bronfenbrenner's perspective had some resemblance to the albert bandura social learning theory and lev vygotsky's sociocultural theory in which the environment is explicitly or implicitly considered as a crucial mechanism in development so the ecological systems theory holds that we encounter different environments throughout our life span which may influence our behavior in various ways so these systems include the microsystem the mesosystem the exosystem the macrosystem and the chronosystem let's understand each of these systems separately first is the microsystem the microsystem setting is the direct environment we have in our lives your family friends classmates teachers neighbors and other people who have a direct contact with you whom with whom you are meeting on a daily basis they are included in your microsystem the microsystem is the setting in which we have direct social interactions with these people the theory states that we are not just mere recipients of the experiences we have when we are socializing with these people in the microsystem environment but we are also contributing to the construction of such environment the next one is the mesosystem which involves the relationships between the microsystem in one's life which means that when we are in the mesosystem the influences of micro systems will be there this means also that your family experience may be related to your school experience for example if a child is neglected by his parents at home he or she may have a low chance of developing positive attitude towards his teacher also this child may feel awkward in the presence of uh, peers and may resort to withdrawal from a group of classmates <coughs> next is the exosystem the exosystem is a setting in which there is a link between the context where in the person does not have any active role and the context where in is actively participating suppose there is a child who is more attached to his father than his mother if the father goes Uh, away for work for several months there may be a conflict between the mother and the child's social relationship or on the other hand this event may actually result to a to a greater bond between the mother and the child so this is how the exosystem comes into play then the next system is the macro system this setting is the actual culture of an individual the cultural context involve the socio economic status of the person and his family his ethnicity race and living in a still developing or a third world country or a developed country for example being born to a poor family makes a person work harder every day and the last system is the chrono system which includes the transitions and shift in one's life span this may also involve the socio historical context that may influence a person one of the one good example here would be that how divorce as a major life transition may affect not only the couple's relationship but also their children's behavior according to a major majority of research children are negatively affected on the first year after the divorce the next years after it would reveal that the interaction within the family becomes more stable and agreeable